many a times we ask this question to ourselves to others to our gurus to our guides and to our seniors and in google in youtube in different platforms that how to be extraordinary well everybody is unique and thereby everybody is extraordinary in their own way so the question that how to be extraordinary has a pretense behind it which means we think that we have to behave like somebody that is why we want to be extraordinary although we think that that's being extraordinary but that's actually being ordinary because there may be many such people who look extraordinary and we are just trying to be like one of them all right at the same time how do we harness the best within us how do we transform ourselves into our best version that is where we should be extraordinary that is where we should try to be the best not among others but among our earlier versions which means we should strive to be better than yesterday today and tomorrow we should strive to be better than today that is how we become extraordinary at the same time the question is how do we do that how do we become extraordinary <laughs> how do we cross ourselves from who we were yesterday so that is something very important which this transit is going to teach us because mars has now entered the sign of virgo with so many other planets and now essentially from here venus mercury and the sun will separate from mars because from long time mars mercury venus are going around in the signs of gemini cancer and then we had leo and now it's gemini and finally they are all going to separate after virgo of course within the next uh, 20 25 days everybody is going to be out and mars will stay in this sign as you know for the next 40 45 days till around uh, the first week or 10th around of november around that time but the question is what does this transit mean for all of us okay so that is something which we will discuss today and what exactly happens to your life will depend on your individual horoscope on uh, the dashas that you are running and where your mars is placed in your birth chart and where is your mercury the dispositor of mars because mars is in virgo now and virgo is ruled by mercury where is mercury placed in your chart how is mercury placed and uh, so many other things like for example how much uh, which are the major planets that are contributing uh, to the uh, house where virgo is in your chart according to astrak virga okay so these are the things that will decide what will happen to you in your life so whatever i say if it doesn't match fully uh with your chart or uh, don't think that uh, it doesn't work or anything like that okay you don't have to freak out you don't have to panic and yes as usual if you are new to the channel then please uh, subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit then you can go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now what is mars we have to understand the uh, tattva of the planets okay or the gunas of the planets i would say tattvas are also important gunas are even more important so what is the uh, what what are the gunas of these two planets okay mars and mercury and many times they say that they don't get along well with each other why do they say like this well what is mars mars is a tamasic planet so his guna is tamas and mercury's guna is rajas so what happens when rajas and tamas mixes well there can be many things which happen but the thing is 
we have to know how to utilize these energies now what happens will depend on the chart but the question is how do we utilize these energies the difference between an ordinary person and an extraordinary person is the difference in habits now for example many times people say that oh we should do time management have you heard of this time management but actually we we all have the same amount of time and nobody can extend time but one thing which we can definitely do is we can prioritize our time so rather than calling it time management it is actually my guru used to say it is more a management of your priorities in life so when somebody is very 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 successful in some area of their life that happens because that person had kept that area as the topmost priority in their life okay otherwise it is very difficult to be successful extraordinarily we can have some ordinary success in that area but if you want to be extraordinary in some field we have to keep that as our first priority and that means making the changes the necessary changes in your life in a way that once without doing that you do not do any other activity okay so for example many times i get people mailing to me that oh i want to do spiritual practice but somehow it is not happening this is not happening that's not happening why so therefore i started this uh, mantra marathon last weekend and i'm very happy so many people have been doing it and the last uh, two weeks are still there i would say so if you have not joined you can also join in that so in that what i did was i tried to cultivate a habit for 21 days okay because see the issue with mars is mars has a lot of tamasic energy tamasic energy the uh, tamasic energy the problem with tamasic energy is uh, it it does not mean that people think tamas means there is no energy no it's not like that tamas means the energy is not getting utilized in the proper direction okay and rajas means there's a lot of energy but you don't know what to do with that energy it's just flowing all over the place so rajas means it's just flowing all over the place and tamas means you don't know where where, where to use that energy so there's a tendency to self sabotage oneself okay so by that that can cause destruction that is why mars is a tamasic planet because mars although he has a lot of energy but he needs the support of planets like jupiter and sun to get a proper direction in life because that is why he is the commander in chief so the commander has to be told by the king what to do and jupiter who is a priest he has to tell the king what to tell mars all right that's the that's the way the flow happens so therefore during this transit one thing which we can do is we can check ourselves that which are the things that we want to improve in our life and we have to ensure that we keep them as the top priority which means if possible that is the first thing that we do during the day all right because the first thing that you do during the day sets the tone for the rest of the activities of the day so therefore many times people ask me that oh i want to chant this mantra i want to do this i want to do that when should i do that well the best thing to do is in the morning especially uh, unless the mantras are exclusively for evening because then you know that that is my top priority so then what happens is you will take care during the rest of the day to not do anything which will take you away from that which means so for example suppose you are embarking on your spiritual journey every morning half an hour one hour you are giving to spiritual practices then during the day you will arrange your life in a way that you do not feed in some unnecessary thing into your head into your consciousness by which you have to compromise on the uh, your morning sadhana 
for example if suppose somebody is inviting you for a late night dinner or some party then you will directly say no to it because you know that night time is for sleeping it's not for uh, going around uh, roaming like animals okay <laughs> it is for sleeping it is not for uh, it's it's not like the daytime all right so now you know that now you have been illumined you are enlightened so therefore you will know that this action which i may perform can harm my morning spiritual practices because that is your top priority so then you will say no to that invitation okay and therefore you will be successful in your spiritual endeavors not just by saying no because by saying no you will be doing the practices in the morning that is how you will be spiritual many uh, many times people think that oh we will keep our legs in two boats like this okay so we will do whatever we want in our material life and we will also do whatever we want in our spiritual life and by that we will advance no you do not advance like that you will what will happen have you tried uh, keeping your legs in two boats well both of them will collapse and you will also perish okay so this can be true with any aspect of our life not only with our spiritual life it, it can be true with our career it can be with our health it can be with our family with any area of your life all right so whichever area you want to focus in keep that as the top priority and try to do it as the first thing that you do after you get up in the morning okay so many times people tell me that uh, they want to master some skill some online skill okay which is which they require in their profession so then the best thing is that you get up in the morning and you spend half an hour learning that skill okay online or from your mentor or from wherever whichever place before you go to the office or your business or whatever it is many times people want to focus on their health so then you should do uh, the yoga or exercise or whatever you want in the morning so many times people want to just uh, focus on their married life or focus on your family so then every morning you can uh, you can focus that way okay you can have a talk with your mother your father or your son your daughter your brother sister or your husband wife whoever whoever they are all right so whatever is your focus put that as the first priority in the morning and then you will see gradually your life becomes extraordinary okay which means you will become better than who you were every day the previous day therefore you will have massive success in that area and other people will not like this other people will say you are a fanatic you are just oh you are just uh, neglecting other things in life no it's not like that of course you have to balance other areas but you have to know which is the most uh, which is which activity in your life or which area which event is of the top most priority and accordingly you have to behave so if you just haphazardly spread your energy everywhere like mars and mercury that will not work and therefore now is the time that we decide that we need to make good habits in life once we because ultimately who we are is a result of our habits only our decisions yes so our decisions will decide our habits i want to do this i don't want to do this when you say yes to something which you should not do then you come one step behind so the next time when you want to say no to that it becomes 10 times more difficult so for for example somebody is into addictions so somebody is uh, smoking for example so then nobody becomes a uh, addict in the womb of their mother nobody or nobody is an addict when they are a child oh, okay one year old two year old three year old they are not addicts but when you meet such people who are also smoking and they push you and you say yes to them remember the first time you said yes yaad karo wo din do you remember that uh, golden day wo sunhare din yaad kariye kabhi that was the first day you said yes when your friend told you you know just take this 
just once nothing happens do you remember if you remember then please write it in the comments well the point is not to embarrass ourselves but the point is just remember that that one day that one small act of yours transformed you and changed your life maybe for the worse so similarly today now if you decide that i will do something good and that decision you take today and you start today then imagine after five years where will you be all right so if it can happen for a negative thing like smoking it can have also happen for good things why should it only happen for negative things it can also happen for positive things all right so use your uh, use your tendencies and your abilities in a positive way and that is how you should utilize this transit okay otherwise this rajasic energy of mercury and tamasic energy of mars can lead you to panic attacks confusion depression obsession which which is not a very good way to live in this world all right so therefore it's highly essential that we cultivate those habits which will uh, elevate ourselves at a material and at a spiritual level also all right so that is what i wanted to say and how you do it when you should do it to what extent and all that will depend on your horoscope and your individual placements of mars and mercury especially all right there you go if you are new to the channel please uh, subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me then please go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you cultivate the best habits okay thank you very much